what's up guys Bobo here and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make some visual effect on your character um, I'm going to show you how to add them on the on the model that you're gonna get from one model viewer and uh, yeah so it's pretty simple I'm gonna go on the, I'm gonna start with the, the, the by doing what I did in my last tutorial, which is improving the character mode color and the texture a little bit. So I'm gonna go over it pretty quickly because I already made a tutorial on it and then I'm gonna start making the glowy effect and the color correction and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna make it pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna duplicate this uh, layer, which is my wolf layer, which is the pet I'm gonna add some uh, glow effect on. So I'm gonna get two of them. Then I'm gonna go on the one on top, on the layer on top, and I'm gonna start doing what I did in my last tutorial, which is pretty much adding a little bit of bevel and emboss effect. I'm just gonna add a little bit and a little bit of soften. You play with the settings till you get like a little bit glowy light around the character, just a little bit, just like that. It's honestly, it's not much of a difference, but it is a little different. So, yeah. Then I'm gonna add the stroke effect here. Um, I'm gonna reduce it to one, like I did in my tutorial. You can go check it out. I'm probably gonna put the link somewhere in the description or even on the screen. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna reduce it to around 40%. And then I'm gonna click OK. So now I'm gonna go on my, the layer, uh, my wolf layer on the bottom here, and I'm gonna go into filter, add some Gaussian blur here just a little bit to create this glowy effect around around it to make uh, to reduce the sharp edges of the model so yeah now you have something like this if you turn up the layer and the effect see that it looks a little bit better now and uh, I'm gonna add the black and white gradient map effect alright so this is what I did in my last tutorial I did it pretty quickly and now I'm going to show you how to add the, the glowy effect and uh, everything. So, all right, now you have your cool character here. And now you wanna add some smoky, glowing, whatever effect you want. So usually what I do is that I create a new layer on top of everything. So I'm just gonna go here, click on this icon here where you can add the layer effect. And then now I have the layer here and I'm gonna go into brush if you have downloaded my uh, GFX pack uh, which I would ask you to for the purpose of this tutorial because you're gonna need some of my brushes so as you can see I have a ton of them and uh, yeah I'm gonna select uh, I'm gonna select some smoky uh, smoky brushes as well. hmm, not sure these are the good one um, I'm gonna keep looking for a little bit. Mm. Right, I'm just gonna try these. I don't know if they're gonna work. So I'm gonna select um, a blue color because my character has some blue, uh, blue glow on him already. So I'm just gonna make it fit. Select this blue. All right, you can copy. Uh, uh, the car I'm gonna take, which is 00C6FF, and you're there. You go, just click OK. All right now, uh, on the new layer you created, you're gonna just uh, create some smoke around the character. And uh, don't worry, you just have to put some smoke effect like that on the character. You don't have to like make it perfect just like this and yeah it doesn't look right <laughs> and so all you have to do now is uh, control and uh, left click on your wolf layer on the top wolf layer here control left click it's gonna select all around your uh, character model and uh, now you're gonna it uh, you're gonna select the smoky layer you made over here on top and you're gonna hit, hit your delete key ah. now you have the, some smoke around your character in the background uh, it's not perfect yet 
So now I'm gonna select still the smoky effect and I'm gonna go here on the bottom and into the effects and I'm gonna go into outer glue here and add some glue to the smoke and I'm gonna select some maybe a darker blue alright and alright you can play with the effect you put whatever effect you want Maybe I'll put it more pale. All right, like this. All right. Now I am gonna select um, the eraser eraser tool here, and I'm gonna select some other smoky um, brush here, and select this one. And I'm gonna reduce the size to yeah around that. All right, and now you just wanna erase a little bit um, the smoke around your character where where there is like too much of it. All right, just like this. So you egalize it around your character, just like that. You can go play with the the glow again, but um, yeah, for I'll just set it like this. Maybe there is a little bit here. All right, and then I'm gonna create another uh, layer on top, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna pick uh, another smoke uh, brushes, and I'm gonna take this one. Uh, same, uh, maybe a little bit darker. I'm gonna take a darker color, just like this. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Just brush here, here, here. This. Actually, I'm just gonna take a a big brush and just do like two to hit. This is big. Go. Three hit like this. All right. Now I'm gonna do the same thing that I did uh, before. I'm gonna select uh, Control and click L on my tough full layer here. Oops, sorry. All right there you go. Now I'll select my off layer, and instead of just clicking on Delete with on the new uh, smoky effect layer here, I'm just gonna select the magic. Uh, what's it called? Magic wand tool here. And I'm gonna right click in the middle of the selection here. Right click and select the select inverse option here. Select inverse. Now, what it's gonna do is instead of deleting what is in my character, uh, my character selection here, it's gonna select what is out of it. So, all the do effect I just made that it is um, around, oh, well, I mean, um, is on the is outside the, the character layer is going to be deleted. So just hit that. Alright, and then I'm going to add the same effect that I did with the, the other um, the other layer, the other smoky uh, layer. Let's add some outer glow. Alright, so you play with the settings, you put whatever you want, doesn't really matter. Put it Keep it as much glow as you want. So it's nice. Maybe reduce the size a little bit so that you can see the smoke a little. All right, like this. And yeah, we're pretty much done here. All you have to do now is add another layer and go into the brush again. And you can select the brush on top, the first brush here. Cause I want to make a uh, a big uh, big white light on him so that make him look like he's really glowing. So uh, you can take this one. I'm gonna take one of my light layer uh, brushes. Sorry, I have somewhere in here. You can look for them real quick. Should be around here, and there it is. There they are. 
Alright, so you can take uh, one of them if you have downloaded my GFX pack. So, yeah, uh, yeah, it's, it's right. Alright, so I'm just gonna put this size so that it just makes like um, it takes it puts a light on the body and not on the on the feet of my, uh, my character. So, I'm just gonna take a white color here and take right there. Alright. Now I'm gonna go here and select the overlay, um, overlay effect on my uh, light layer. Okay, overlay, and all, so it was small. All right, I'm just gonna remake it real quick. I'm gonna make the brushes, the brush bigger. Too big. And then overlay, there you go. You reduce the opacity. There you go, you can move the light layer a little bit. Then put some outer glow again. So, dark blue. Right. And to the side. Best. Use the opacity a little bit. And uh, range. There you go. You can reduce the opacity of. Pull it back if you want. Put it just like this. And this seems about right. You can reduce you can reduce the size of everything just to make it perfect. So I'm gonna reduce the size of the light a bit. Make it fit in the wolf. There we go. And if you want to really make it look cool or whatever, you can even add a flare. So I'm just gonna go on my desktop, select my GFX pack, go into flares, and I'm gonna select a blue flare for to put on his high. Um, don't know which take. Take this one. Right. So you just go over here, then click OK. Even before resizing the flare or anything, you just uh, select the you go into the the, mode, the layer mode here, and you select a screen. I'm gonna make the, the black disappear a little bit, and you can erase it later. I'm gonna reduce size, put it on his eye. This like this. It's pretty easy. Don't even have to do it. So just make it look a little bit better. I'm gonna take a normal brush uh, and a normal eraser. Just like this. Use the size. Go. I erase real quick. The the rest of the black around the bit there. And there you go guys, you have a cool nice model with some cool visual effect. So yeah, um, just a quick tip, before uh, doing the this this layer, the smoke, the smoke in the back, um, just instead of taking the brush I, uh, I took, just uh, take these ones. Um, these are on the bottom of my, uh, my, my brush uh, selection. Uh, take th this one, they look a lot better and select a, bi a big size so that it just make it look uh, a little bit better than just a small size because it makes it look, I don't know, I don't really like the smoke I did uh, here. Um, I wish I'd take the, 
I would I wish I would have take these uh, this brush instead and um, yeah so it, it still looks good but uh, I think it could have been looked a little bit better with uh, these brush so yeah uh, other than that it's pretty much it if you have any question you can uh, ask me in the comment or join me directly on YouTube and uh, yeah so I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video or in my next tutorial and as always guys Bobo here and have a nice day.